Okay, I'd like to uh, go ahead and take a second to introduce our next uh, guest. As several of you, if you've been a longtime Barnabas Group uh, member, you know it's been a dream of mine for a long, long time to uh, start a, a, a Barnabas Group for younger people. It's not that I don't like hanging around with people my own age, but I would love to see us uh, pass down the wisdom and the things that we've learned through the hard knocks uh, of following Christ all these years of, uh, to younger people. And I think God answered our prayer. Uh, Barnabas Group is kicking off a new subchapter of the Barnabas Group called the Good Steward Project. And Daryl Passwater has been brought to us to step up and lead it. And so we are thrilled uh, to see what Daryl's going to tell us today. Daryl? Thank you. I have, a, I have a couple Jeopardy questions for you. Okay. Alex, for $200, who starred, excuse me, William Shatner starred in a long term sci fi. Popular on TV for over a decade. It was called? Okay, $500. Question, what organization or what program followed that Star Trek major icon? Price line. No, no. <laughs> Help this gentleman. <laughs> what was the program, the sci-fi that followed Star Trek? The Next Generation. That's right. Thank you. You get $500. There you go. Jean-Luc Picard took over the next thing. The Barnabas Group is a great organization, but it needs a next generation. The Good Stewart Project is committed to raising and developing the next generation of Barnabas members. I love young adults. I love working with kids. I love challenging them. I love developing them, encouraging young adults. And the Good Stewart Project is here and is committed to assisting the Christian young adults, those in the 20s to the mid-30s, learn to be good stewards of their time, talent, and treasure. How many people here benefited somewhere along their life with being mentored by somebody that's been effective? Raise your hand. How many have been mentored? Right on. Okay. Well, one of the things we're doing with the Good Steward Project, which is going to be announced, will be starting in July. Uh, locally here, we're, we're going to be offering a program that's every other month for an hour and a half in the morning. So 6.30 in the morning till 8 o'clock, we're going to gather as many more people than are here. We're attracting all the Christian young men and women who are in the workforce to say, how can we be encouraged? How can we be challenged? How can we be developed to use our God-given talents for enhancing the kingdom? That's what this is about. So I'm going to ask that you think about and be a part of mentoring. Now, being a mentor to one of these fine young Christian adults is going to take about an hour a month. It's going to be something that you don't have to be super bright. You don't have to have, be retired. You don't have to have all sorts of skills. What you have to have is a heart to listen and care for a young person who is trying to develop their skills and be effective in the workplace for Christ. Somebody who's willing to listen and pray for somebody and encourage somebody. So I'm asking you to think about, and on page 41, I believe it is, yes, it's got a form here. What we're asking you to do is think about if you want to be a mentor to this next generation, the succession plan for who's the people sitting here in this nice auditorium here, so the next generation of people that are going to come in and fill your spot, because some of you are going to retire. And we do need to have the right people ready to go for the next generation. So I ask that you think through can I be a mentor to somebody who wants to grow and develop? Can I encourage? Can I support? So as we launch our program, we'll have all the web page and all the information coming forth. And we have a table over here right next to Wing Ministry. We've got some brochures. And if you want more information, please come over and connect with us and find out how you can be a part of the next generation for Barnabas. What a great opportunity to invest in young people who want to do something great, but don't necessarily have the support. We know the word synergy. Synergy means two plus two in the world says it equals not four, but five. Well, when we bring in the power of the Holy Spirit, when we bring in godly people, spiritual synergy is not two plus two equals four or five. Two plus two with the power of the Holy Spirit equals 10 or 20 or 100. Don't expect miracles unless you pray for them. And I'm asking you to think about praying for them, being a part of a great group of young people who are going to do something significant for the kingdom. So we're going to ask and attract every young person who's a Christian who wants to grow to be a part of this 6.30 in the morning to 8 o'clock every other month at a local area place we haven't chosen yet to come and trying to be encouraged by 
great leaders be encouraged by around a table to say, how are you growing in your faith? And also to be encouraged to serve the Lord. We're asking people, if they want to be a member, to commit to things like service. We want them all to be actively involved with the service project. We're going to ask them to be mentored. We're going to ask them to be connecting with other people, learning how to ask great questions, to invest in other people's lives, and, of course, how in the world can we make an impact for the kingdom. So that's what the Good Steward Project's all about. It's about being Jean-Luc Picard, the next generation. And I hope and pray that you'll take a look at the things on page 41. And if you want more information, please, we're happy to do so. Our web page is just about ready to be launched with all the good information. But in short, find out how you can be a part of making the next generation great. That's all I have to say, Jim. Carol, I have a, I have a question. I, uh, now, there's going to be opportunities for some Barmas Group members to come to those meetings and actually uh, take some time and, and uh, speak into their lives and talk about, you know, what were the dumb things I did, what were the smart things I did as a Christian. Is that true? Yeah, we're going to be inviting, uh, the, the program in the, on the hour and a half is going to be around the table. We're going to ask a, a we're going to give a Bible verse, like Micah 6, 8. What does the Lord require of you? But to do justly, to love mercy, and walk humbly. And we're going to ask them, what does that mean? How does that work at your workplace? How are you going to deal with it? What happens when people are treated unjustly? And we're going to have them bring the word of God into their life. So they're going to get to meet people around the table. Then we're going to bring in a sage business person, somebody who has been faithful to the Lord, and, and share in about 12 minutes with some question and answer time, what did they learn? What should you do and what should you not do? The road of life's got potholes and landmines. There's no, no problem hitting a pothole every once in a while, but we want them to avoid landmines. We want them to be highly effective. And we know that the evil one is certainly out there trying to do everything he can do to stop you from developing that. So we want to hear sage counsel. So we're going to be contacting Barnabas members and say, would you invest 12 minutes of your time and share with this group of people what to do and what not to do in the world of business. And then we're going to also bring in, like we're doing here, a couple local area ministries. And in short, we're going to be exposing them to local ministries and asking them to be involved. One thing I didn't say, forgive me, is they're going to have a monthly accountability. So every month they're going to be sending in, how are they doing in staying in the Word of God? How are they doing with prayer and meditation? How are they doing in Christian service? How are they doing in developing their relationship with God? We're going to ask them to actually be held accountable. So to be a member of this is not just something cute and come and say, I've got, I'm a member of, but it's how can we do something great for the Lord and enhance the kingdom? These people are going to do something great for Orange County. I hope you, hope you get yourself involved with it. Does anybody here know anybody that's you know, 20 to 30 that might find value in this? Anybody know anybody that might want to recommend it? <laughs> Great. Let's just pray for Daryl and pray for this, uh, this whole uh, uh, mission. Father, we just come before you, and I just thank you so much that you've given us the opportunity, Lord, to pour back uh, into other people's lives uh, what you've taught us, Lord. I think of the word legacy and just uh, how important it is to me to leave that mark, Father, to uh, pass on to other generations what you've uh, been so gracious to, to, you know, show me in my life, Lord. I pray for Daryl. I pray that you would just give him wisdom, that you give him discernment, that you would open all the right doors for him, that you'd bring him the right people, Lord. And, Lord, we are so excited to see what you're going to do through this ministry and the impact that you're going to have for eternity through it. So we are just thankful to be a part of it. We just pray this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And if you'd be so kind to fill out the form and bring it over or hand it to your person, we'll be over here to talk to you. Please get a chance to talk to us.